Have you ever wondered what a second story ICF home begins to look like? Stick around as we see how the second story of the Liberty Estate is taking shape. We've got window bucks going in, we've got ICF fireplace cavity, we've got the walls of the second story going in. Come hang out with me. Hey, this is Jesse, Chief Explainer Officer for AFT, and I am standing on the second level of the Liberty Estate. And this is a whole lot of fun because we've got concrete. We've got the four inches of concrete that we've been talking about for the last few months is finally down and it feels amazing. If I'm gonna compare it to something, it feels like a hotel floor, like a second level or a third level or a fourth level of a hotel. This situation is amazing. I've never felt this in the second level of any residential home. The concrete's in and that is awesome. Now I am standing in a pool of LVL window bucks. They're putting up the siding, well not the siding, but the ICF for the second story walls. As you can see, they're framing out the window bucks and they're putting together the second story or the, you know, the Lego blocks, that is Fox blocks. Um, they're putting them all together and I'm gonna take you to some really interesting elements of this part of the build. Now there are a lot of just normal elements of ICF construction and you'll see that with all of the walls and all of the different elements here but there's something really really interesting that I want to point out to you because I think that it is something that is of value. So follow along with me as we head over to where the fireplace, the outdoor fireplace, is coming through the second level. All right, so as we walk to the fireplace, here's the LVLs, uh, the window bucks that are going in, and this is how they're adding them in to where the windows are going. So they secure them here in this fashion so that that way the window bucks are in place here and then they uh, hold it in place so that when they load in the concrete from up above, you're going to be able to hold this together and then it will all kind of interlock and connect in um, once, once the concrete is going into place. So it's pretty interesting to see. Um, let's head over here to the uh, fireplace. Now Ryan, my buddy Ryan here, is building this fireplace cavity surround, uh, which I find really interesting. So at first, when I first came here, I thought, is this a window? However, it's not a window. It's the cavity for where the outdoor fireplace is. And in this situation, we can see how it's constructed. Now I've never seen, well one, I've never seen a two-story ICF home, but with this being the situation, this is the outdoor fireplace mm -hmm. and the fireplace cavity that's going to basically move up through the house and out. So the roof will be up there, obviously. But this is a really interesting aspect of the build. And now you can see rebar and the uh, concrete that's here and how the rebar is actually connecting into the how the rebar is actually connecting into the uh, interlocking mechanism of the ICF these channel locks right here as you can see hold the rebar in place and you can see how this rebar turns the corner and goes into the other section that holds it all together. Now, there are seams in all of these sections. So real quick, I'm gonna take you over to where there's actually a seam going straight up. And I find it really interesting. So the seam is right here. And as you can see, we've got wood holding this seam in place. So when the concrete goes in, up at the top here, the concrete is going to join it together eventually and hold it in place. However, the other step of this is that 
This wall here, as you can see, it's a little bit off right now, but they're gonna, you know, they're gonna make all of that work properly together. But what it's going to do that's really interesting is there's gonna be a longer L bracket up here. Let me find an L bracket real quick. Here are a couple of L brackets. And as you can see, they're gonna take this longer piece of the L bracket and they're gonna put it in that place um, that I was showing you. So that that way, this long stretch adheres or uh, joins the seam together, thus holding it in place once the concrete is there. The concrete's gonna go in the middle here. They're gonna have rebar in place as well to connect it all. So once the L is in its place, holding that seam together, everything is gonna be perfect and exactly what we want. Obviously, we have the energy efficiency of the ICF and the concrete combined, but now the strength with the rebar and the joining of the concrete to the rebar and the styrofoam is all gonna work together to create that stability and the house itself isn't gonna rack or anything like that when it comes to the second story. And obviously, the floor, the concrete second level, is playing a part too. It's like Lincoln Logs. So like we've talked about before, we've got energy efficiency through the roof with this build. The ICF, the concrete second level foundation, I'll call it, even though it's not really a foundation, I'm calling it one because it feels rock solid. This house is going to be amazing. Now we've got a couple of things that are coming up in some future episodes that I want you guys to take into account. One, this second level mezzanine here overlooking the pool, what's gonna happen right here is going to be amazing and I really am excited about it because I'm curious what this stretch is gonna have. Now, as you can see behind me, we've got the windows going in place. We've got a second level here that's going into place, but we've got a lot of stuff going on here at Liberty Estate and I want you guys to keep following along. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.